Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to talk about Hasbro killing Magic the Gathering. Yes, people are finally waking up. First, before we do that, I want to thank my Patreons. Thanks a lot for your support, that makes this channel possible. And if you would like to help me as well, then please check out my Patreon page. And we're almost at a thousand subs, 923 thousand subs, then we get the Black Lotus, so road to 1k. Let's switch to what is happening. It's fresh from the press. I wanted to make um, a pack cracking Monday, but I saw this and I think, yeah, we need to talk about this, folks. Uh, financial advisors, and you can say about financial advisors what you want. They actually talked about the problem Hasbro has with its stock. The stock has fallen yet again. We talked about the CFO resigning recently. It hasn't been going well with Hasbro. And um, yeah. Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering is actually making 15% of the revenue of Hasbro and a lot more EBITDA. And for people who don't know what EBITDA means, let me let me <laughs> let me quickly explain that to you. EBITDA basically means cash flow, and that is 35% from Wizards of the Coast towards Hasbro. So they are really helping with the cash flow of the company. First page we're looking at is Polygon. They are actually saying like matching <laughs> the gathering players are being squeezed out for money. There's interesting stuff on here. Um, yeah, they are talking about the fact that uh, Hasbro is overproducing Magic the Gathering. And the big um, thing, of course, as well, is that the uh, overproduction not only per set but also the overproduction of sets uh, is currently happening that means we get like almost one release every month then on top of that secret layers let's say uh, one release every two months uh, of the major ones but it felt like one a month and then the secret layers and then uh, all the other stuff um, CNBC, of course, covered this as well, and this is probably going to be bad for Hasbro stock. Uh, yeah, not a lot to read here. I think you have to be a member, but the, uh, <laughs> the headline already says a lot. Due to company ruining Magic the Gathering card game. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. People are waking up, folks. Um, I also had a look at Reddit, and Reddit is very funny because you see... Uh, the Magic the Gathering players that are on Reddit are more against this. Uh, and uh, that is their good right. I personally think um, it's a bit short-sighted because uh, they are talking about the evil investors again and speculators and, and, and uh, the 30th anniversary edition uh, that uh, caused um, collectors to sell their product. And that's a fact. Um, it's been recognized by a lot of people and it's mentioned in these articles as well so uh, that's a thing people are getting rid of their cards not everybody but some do um, and on reddit the general opinion is of course that uh, this is written out of a financial perspective and the game is a game problem is if the company doesn't make money if Hasbro doesn't make money producing Magic the Gathering they are yeah, killing the game because uh, they are not producing it because they are such nice guys. Um, it's it's very simple. Uh, it's this if the ecosystem doesn't work, then Magic the Gathering is going to hell, and we all will play with the cards we have at our kitchen tables. But that's about it, because if they are selling Wizards of the Coast, then you not don't know what happens. And I don't think they're selling it, but uh, Wizards of the Coast uh, has been has been bled dry. And now, uh, yeah, the results are really bad. And then you can say, of course, oh, it doesn't matter if collectors sell there, then I can get my cards for cheap. But at a certain point, if people are um, going away and if people are leaving the game, then yeah, um, there won't be a game anymore. So maybe be a little more open to the fact that this is a big problem and apparently it's being recognized and a lot of people are waking up. Um, here as well, folks, interesting, same thing, overproduction, um, Wizards of the Coast has been releasing too many sets, uh, the, the sets themselves have been overproduced, apparently um, Brothers War, uh, the, the amounts uh, are really high, um, stores uh, dying or even ordering less, uh, distributors ordering less, 
it's a shit show and somebody is finally recognizing it from a financial uh, from a financial point of view so yeah um folks what do you think about this i i think uh wizards of the coast needs to make changes um they they need to do so quickly i i know it's a big ship and uh it's difficult to turn that around but um they need to react and they need to recognize that this is a big problem and when it hurts their wallet when it hurts the investors wallet and the the stockholders wallet of hasbro then uh yeah they will definitely do something about it but ah, that um it concerns me a little bit i have to say uh still i i finally i think uh it is out there and somebody besides rudy recognizes that there is a problem and i have been saying it before and i've been bashed for it but it is what it is folks it's not going well so please let me know in the comments what you think about it and um i'm, I'm honestly curious if if you I, I know one or two of you already told me uh you have been selling your cards but uh, i i personally won't and i never will even uh, i will sell certain cards for a good price but that's the normal uh, normal way of playing the game right uh, and then buy new cards for that money but in general i am curious if you are actually fire selling your cards or panic selling or uh yeah if you hold on to it as well i would be very curious folks thanks a lot for listening i'll be back tomorrow i hope i'll get some cards and i actually bought some cards but i bought some old cards wanted to buy brothers war but i didn't because i still was mad at wizards of the coast and now i'm happy i didn't uh, but i don't know if i should be so happy that i bought uh, old cards for like uh, i think i paid 300 bucks in total for a stack of old cards but um i will i will show you once once they are in uh stay healthy stay frosty Thanks for listening. I talk to you next time, folks. Bye-bye.